Hi all folks, this is Max from ACCVoHacks.com. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to install a new ROM on your GSM uh, EVO 3D using for extension recovery. First you will need a rooted phone, unlock bootloader, um, you don't have to have SOF, uh, and also go install for extension recovery. I'll have a um, video, a link to how to do that, a video tutorial. Um, if you don't know how below, you can check that out first and do all those things. Uh, unlock bootloader, root it, and install custom extension recovery. And once you've done that, um, simply download the ROM you want to install and uh, copy it over to the SD card of your Ace, uh, EVO 3D. There's many ways to do that. Uh, one way is to connect it to your computer as a disk drive. You can do that by doing connecting like this. And then um, if you swipe down, yeah. I'll give you the option. It just started. That's probably why. Hold on. Let me see. Give you an option. Um, yeah, it's still booting up. Sorry. Um, that's one option. Or you can actually take the micro SD card out and uh, use one of these uh, micro SD card adapters. Or you can even use. Um, I even have one of these really cool things. Uh, micro SD reader. Um, it also actually got it for a CF reader. It can go really fast. It's USB 3.0. I'll have a review of that too. Um, or you can reboot into um, basically reboot into uh, the four extension recovery and do it. But here you can. Oops. Let me try that again. Um, it says connect to PC. You set as a disk drive there. All right and copy the ROM file over anywhere in the SD card is fine. I usually put it in my download directory or you can even download it straight to your phone. Um, just make sure you don't use your stock browser, use a uh, Dolphin HD browser because the stock browser on the gingerbread um, sometimes have time, a hard time downloading files and it will say zero kilobytes. And once you've copied the files over, um, basically we're going to be rebooting into four extension recovery. Simplest way to do this is uh, take the battery out and hold down the volume down and the power button. I think this is the fastest way. You can also uh, turn off fast boot in settings and then power off and then get into it, but look, that's a lot more steps. Anyway, it's up to you. Uh, once you're in bootloader, select recovery. And you notice that I have S on, I have HP 1.49. Um, with four extension uh, recovery, what this does is basically it, uh, it will actually boot back into recovery. Um, well, just simply you can flash kernels. I won't go into details here. Um, so here you can also uh, toggle USB storage and copy the ROM file over. So there's many ways. This is probably the best way um, if you somehow end up in a soft uh, boot loop and uh, you want to install another custom ROM or whatever. So once you copy the files over, um, you'll want to wipe and format um, also, before we do this, uh, make sure you've uh, backed up all your apps using Titanium Backup App um, so you can restore it when you install a new ROM. And for contacts, I suggest you uh, use Gmail. If you don't use Gmail, at least make a dummy account because uh, when you have a Gmail account, basically it automatically stores all your contacts on your phone to Gmail. So when you get a new phone or you install a new ROM, you just have to um, enter your user, Gmail username and password and you'll get it all back instantly. Um, and also for SMS text messages, there's a bunch of apps you can use uh, to back up your SMS text app uh, messages. So do those, those things before you do this. And also make a backup of your ROM. This, making a backup of your ROM will back up your current ROM. If you're using stock ROM, it will back that up. It'll back up your apps, it'll back up your settings, it'll back up your SMS text messages. So we're do just doing all of this just in case you lose something. It's easy if you have a backup. So you can go here and hit backup. Um, if you haven't, do that now, please. All right, and once you've, you know, all right, ready to go, simply wipe and, wipe and format, um, wipe data factory reset, and click thing. And this will basically back uh, delete your data and stuff. You can still reboot into your ROM now, but your settings and stuff will be all gone. Um, once once you're done, uh, finished with that, and don't mess with all this other stuff. And I've had all these people messing with this stuff and mess up their phone, brick their phone. 
I don't know why. Don't you know? Don't do things that you don't need to do. You know, otherwise you'll break it. Um, so next we'll go to install from SD card. Choose it from SD card. Again, don't mess with all these other ones. Um, choose it from SD card, and then go find the ROM file. I put it in my download folder, or you can download it straight onto your phone. And it'll go in the download folder. And I'm going to actually install the King Cobra 3D ICS ROM for GSM Evo 3D. And make sure you download uh, ROM for GSM. All of my ROMs on HTC Evo Hacks.com um, are for CDMA uh, Evo 3D unless they they say is for GSM. Okay, just to clear that up. Um, so choose King Cobra 3D. All right, and hit the the check button. And this will install the new ROM. All right. And we'll actually do an uh, extra step, clear the Dalek cache, and also, ooh, that looks pretty cool. Um, and sometimes it'll show you this graphical, this is the new thing now, it's called the Aroma Graphical Installation Interface. So you just have to go through it, just click next, and uh, flash kernel all this, just install ROM. Um, just choose that, since that's the only thing you can choose. Um, you can do full sense or custom sense list. Uh, I'm just gonna use it all default here, all right? And uh, it will install super user and root. I don't know why you wouldn't root, want root. Um, hit next, all right? And so you can mess it with all this stuff. Sense launcher. I want also a Apex launcher. Um, there we go. Next. Oh, there's also a thing for Arabic keyboard there, right there. Ah, whoops. Google Plus. And uh, you can uncheck any any of these things you don't need. I don't actually use uh, Dropbox. I don't need that. I don't need CPU Spy. Quick boot. I don't need Coop. Quick boot. Coop. Quick boot. Um, next, and uh, you don't have to mess with this. Install now. So this is the graphical interface. Um, not sure if the graphical interface actually works with this uh, for extension recovery, um, but it should. <laughs> Not sure. We'll find out when we reboot. Um, if it doesn't work, then we're screwed. But I, I no no, it should be compatible because I was looking at the thing. So this is actually a graphical interface. If you don't get this, don't worry. It's just going to install the ROM and you just reboot and uh, you can skip all this graphical stuff. Um, just happened to be that the ROM I'm installing has an Aroma installer, which is gives you a, uh, more options to do stuff. Um, so that's it. And uh, basically we're going to reboot. And if you have problems, you can go back into um, the recovery, the four extension recovery, and clear cache and dial the cache, which are temporary files. Um, sometimes they get messed up when you install new ROMs, and simply you can clear them. It won't harm your um, phone. Other than that, it might fix boot loops and force closes when you try to download apps on um, Google Play Store. And it only happens when you're installing a new ROM. You just do it once and it's done. Um, so it's going through all these motions here. And uh, yeah, you don't need S off with this new tool. Um, you can just install new ROMs and it'll actually flash the kernels, do everything. So that makes it easy. Um, so don't try to go, go S off. You don't need it. Just use for extension recovery. And this actually works with Evo 3D CDMA also. So you can use it on there. Um, I have the videos on how to install it. It's the same thing, just Evo, for Evo 3D, it'll install the Evo 3D version or CDMA. Evo 3D version. Um, so it says it's done copying logs um, and make sure you have enough battery when you do this. Reboot your device now. Finish and it will reboot. And also if you if you don't have this aroma, this uh, graphical interface after installing ROM, just reboot. All right. And I'll actually show you how to clear Dolby cache and uh, um, you know what? Actually, I'll, I'll make that another video because I'm getting so many questions. I'm gonna actually make one a video for every phone, and that way I can just point them to that video. Um, so it's booting, 
and uh, I'm just gonna let it boot and I'll keep the camera rolling um, just to show you that it's working or it's not working um, so you see that it, it actually rebooted so that's either something went wrong when installing the ROM or it was just part of the ROM um, or actually I think that's that's how the uh, 4 extension recovery works it actually um, reboots itself and flashes the, flashes the kernel separately automatically when you reboot um, that's how it works now I know now you know what I know and we know what I know and you know I don't, I don't know I think there's a I forgot there's a saying there's a some kind of a um, saying um, eh. So I'll leave this on. I'm gonna keep the camera rolling just to show you it's working because I don't want people going, oh, you swapped out the video or something. And there. And uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, so I've got I've got a ROM review coming for this phone, the GSM Evo 3D, and also I've got new ROM running on. I've got the mean ROM I just installed here. I'll review that soon. And also for the Evo 4G and also Evo 4G LTE. Got a lot of work to do. Actually, you know what, 4G LTE, I'm gonna do that next week because um kind of overloaded with too much stuff. But um there we go. Okay. Come on. So the first time you install a new ROM, it might take maybe a minute or two. I think it's been about two minutes. Um, usually within three four minutes it'll it should load but if, if it doesn't then uh, you've got a problem oops we got cut off there my video is getting too long um, so you know if it if it um, if it doesn't boot for some reason it's either um, you've tried to install a ROM with hboot uh, no, 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 with s on and you didn't use for extension recovery um, or you just need to clear cache and valve cache which sometimes causes boot loops um, that's pretty much it but it's not working so let's just take the battery out and reboot and uh, hopefully that'll fix the issue usually you know sometimes it, it's just a reboot fixes everything so try that first and then if that doesn't work we'll go clear the cache and valve cache um, so I'm not getting anything here so I'm getting the boot animation here and I'll just be back you know what I just, this video is taking way too long there we go um, I've got the boot up screen now so I didn't have to do the Dolby cache and the cache clear um, but I'll actually show you uh, once this boots up we'll get back into um, for extension recovery and do this but this is the um, new ROM I installed just now I'll be back. This is still great. Hello, folks. So I got it uh, boot up here, um, working fine. Skip, and uh, there you go. That's how you install a new ROM. Um, now for this phone, you can install from Gingerbread uh, for from Gingerbread to ICS, ICS to Gingerbread. Um, like some phones, you can't do that, but with the Evo 3D, you can do that. Um, so I can use Sense. Ah, I have to use Sense. I was going to use um, Apex. So that's how you install a new ROM, and for some reason, if you get stuck in boot loop, here's what you can do. Go back into um, full extension recovery by taking the battery out, putting it back in, hold down the volume down and the power button, and uh, go back into recovery. And then you're just going to clear the um, cache and dial the cache, which are just temporary files, which can get wrong and... Uh, there we go. So we're in four extension recovery, and uh, here we go. Where is it? Usually the menus are there. Um, go to white band format, and there you go. Just do white uh, cache plus Dalvik. It does both um, with four extension. Do that, and this won't erase anything. Just it just erases temporary files and can get help you get out of boot loop. So do that if you end up in a boot loop or your Play Store is not working right and just reboot and uh, you most of the time um, this will fix boot loops and play store problems and uh, there you go it's booting 
and now I've got ICS running on both my Evo 3D and there's also a, mo a version mobile Evo 3D that's coming out. I'm not I'm not sure if I'm gonna get one, but I might get one. It's you know if people need ROMs for it or no, nah, I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, so it's booting up. There we go, and uh, it'll, it'll boot fine. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you have an Evo 3D or 4G or 4G LTE, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, hccbohacks.com. We update you once a week, sometimes twice, with ROM of the Week, um, tips, hacks, and more. And it's also a great way for you to get in contact with me via email. And also, if you're on YouTube, um, please hit that like button for me. It helps me greatly. And uh, hit that subscribe button up here. And uh, share button down here to share with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And when you clear Dolby Cash or Cash, it's going to redo that Android upgrading. But you only have to do it once. Only if you're having problems with your phone. And uh, you can actually do it ev after every um, ROM install if you want to. Um, anyway, that's, that's it. And thanks you guys for watching my channel. Um, stay high on Android, folks. And I'll be giving out Galaxy S3 on my other channel, Zetomax. Probably June 3rd, um, that's when the contest is going to start. All you got to do is tweet, um, Facebook, and you know, all that social, social um, networking stuff. Anyway, see y'all later. Stay high on Android and don't be on iHore.